sick. Oh my God. So this is pretty much what we're replacing. This is a standard Dodge wheel. If you have a V6, an RT, I believe even a scat back has this. Uh, the SRT version is pretty nice. It has the flat bottom and uh, a thicker grip. So it's a, a little bit sportier feeling. This is a standard wheel, very clean looking. You know, I never really had a, a big urge to actually change it, but a nicer steering wheel will really make the car feel a lot sportier. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is take this wheel off, take the contents of it and put it in the new um, V-Crest wheel. And uh, you know what, I'm going to show you guys what it is that I ordered. And then um, at some point we're going to do the installation and then a review. All right, so this is really the finalized product. And, uh, you know, I did the unboxing and pretty much this is what, what it comes with. This is the LED steering wheel. And let me tell you, the level of customization that you could do to this thing is actually extremely impressive. That being said, I just want to show you guys, it comes with a set of instructions. It also comes with um, this smart box here. And basically what this is going to do is plug into the OBD2 port to allow the um the gauges i believe it shows you the horsepower the torque if you have performance pages it uses the same um information and just displays it here also too the steering wheel will light up depending on where you put the settings i believe at a certain rpm uh it goes from like red or green or and and you see a progression as you continue driving now the level of of customization to the actual steering wheel design itself is impressive this one right here i really wanted it to be a nice clean design i wanted it to almost look stock but then also to have a uh, a couple of subtle color that will match my my charger and uh, so i ended up going with carbon fiber a regular carbon fiber they have forged carbon fiber they have pretty much every cool option you can think about and at the end of this video i'm going to i'm going to take you guys through the actual creation of making one of these wheels uh so i ended up going with carbon fiber with black leather and i'll tell you you can do alcantara you could do uh colored leather uh for the sides here and then i ended up going with a, a blue insert okay you can you can make these colored you don't even actually have to have these uh, blue inserts, you could make them orange or you could just have it, um, you know, just non-existent. But again, you know, I wanted it to have a little bit of color, but not too drastic. Okay. And then that's why I ended up going with the blue inlet with the blue stitching. And again, it's a nice, subtle, you know, blue. So you're, it's not going to be in your face, but when you're the driver, you're going to see that custom touch and it's going to look really nice. So Again, you know, my flavor is is not exactly, you know, a showman's kind of a deal. I've seen some of these wheels get customized uh, to a point where it's like, it's wild. You know, like this is all blue right here, this black uh, leather. And then they, you know, you can even make it where your, your carbon fiber is even colored, I believe. So again, I'm going to take you through that process right after this. And I have to say that V-Crest has made it where it's super simple to order one of these. Uh, the only drawback is uh, when you make a wheel that's everything is custom on it uh the weight and the delivery time is a little bit on the lengthy side i forget when i ordered this but um you know it's a brand new and it's a cust 100 percent custom uh wheel for my car basically one of a kind so i mean unless someone else options it out exactly the same but um again you know i'm really looking forward to to getting it in the car the grips feel really good okay uh it's a much thicker a much sportier type of of handle uh, when you're driving 
And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how this actually all plays out. So, again, this goes into the OBD2 port. And, you know, right now I have it on my Uconnect. You know, whatever gauges need to be uh, displayed, I usually go through the Uconnect. And, and even behind the steering wheel in my car, the EVIC screen will display uh, a lot of this stuff. But I figured, you know, doing some night driving, it would actually be cool to have it a little bit, you know, lit up. Um and, you know, just add a little bit of fun to the ride. Uh, so with that being said, guys, if you are looking into a V-Crest steering wheel, I'll tell you, uh, the quality is really nice, okay? And uh, I'm, I'm just can't wait to, to actually get it into the charger and, uh, you know, use it and give you guys even more feedback. So, all right, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you guys through the, the ordering process and uh, you can see just how much customization you could actually do to make a one-of-one -one type of wheel.